Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen. I run a blog called The Chic Maven where I focus on all things fashion and all things chic. And today I'd like to talk to you about how to dress elegant and classy. I have a few tips that I'd like to share and I'd like to show you examples of how I use these tips in my own wardrobe. I'd like to start off by saying that I think style is also obviously a very personal, very unique to each individual choice. I do think there's always room for an elegant and classy, timeless look in your closet. So I'm going to get right into my tips. I'd like to say though, I don't think that you need to buy expensive clothing to dress elegant and classy. I am going to show you clothing of varying price points. Some things that I wear will be very inexpensive very affordable pieces. Some will be more high-end designer brands. However, like I said before, I think you can definitely wear pieces that are inexpensive and still look very elegant and very classy. So let's just get right into it. My first tip, if you want to look elegant and classy, you need to wear clothing that fits you properly. So what I mean by that is it doesn't matter what size you are. You could be a size 2, you could be a size 18. You want to wear clothing that fits you and your silhouette. You want to showcase your silhouette. You don't want to hide it. So you don't want anything to be too loose. And you also don't want it to be vulgar. So you don't want it to be too tight either. So I'm going to start off with the outfit that I have on now. And show you a full body shot of it. So here I'm wearing a Wolford body top body suit if you will <laughs> an express skirt I think this skirt was like $17 very affordable and I have on a pair of Saint Laurent sandals I know you can barely see them in the shot there and I have on a Dior Twilly this look is is fitted it shows off my figure but it's at the same time it's not too tight it's still very elegant very classy tip number two you want to really choose pieces that are made out of quality material. So when you're going for a more elegant look, you want to avoid clothing made out of material that's really synthetic fibers that tend to look a little unrefined. So what I mean by that is you want to avoid polyesters, bandex, Things that are usually made out of synthetic fibers, obviously it's hard to avoid polyester. There are some pieces that are blends that actually look really nice. So you have you have to be strategic with how you pick out your fabric. I think a safe rule of thumb is to choose pieces that are made out of cotton, wool, cashmere, silk satin blends, viscose, things of that nature you can usually wear in a multitude of different designs and it can come across very elegant, very classy. Here I have a blouse that's a silk satin blend from Jonathan Simkai. It's a bodysuit. And I also have a pair of pants from Zara that I got years ago. And I've paired it with a Louis Vuitton belt. This belt is actually burgundy. But you can't really tell here. I don't think it's showing off as well. Which brings me to my third tip, color. You want to wear clothing in colors that read very elegant and classy. And I feel like jewel tones, nudes, whites and blacks usually are safe bits to, that tend to read, should I say, a little bit more elegant. So I don't want you to, I know a lot of tips always say, oh, wear white, black, nude. You can, obviously that will always work with most people's wardrobe. However, it's nice to have colors that are really rich and deeply pigmented. These colors tend to read across, across more elegant, like purples, teal, turquoise, navy, even really deep burgundies, reds. These colors look a little bit more classy when they're deeply pigmented. You can obviously wear pastels as well and still look very elegant and classy, but you can usually when you wear lighter colors, if you don't have them in higher quality materials, it just kind of doesn't look as refined as you can get away with less expensive clothing that are in deeper saturated hues. Tip number 
four, when it comes to accessories, less is more. When you want to look elegant and classy, you want people to take in, you know, your outfit as a whole, not just any, you don't want the accessories to overtake the outfit. So I'm going to show you an example of how we can play with accessories with this outfit that I have on here. So I'm going to start off with just the dress itself. I am wearing a dress from Miss 60 that is a denim tweed blend. Now we're going to play with some accessories. I, I have on a pair of Chanel boots and I'll show you them close up towards the end of this here. I'll show you what they look like, just get a better glimpse of them. I'm going to throw on a Chanel brooch. Okay. Now, let's see, let's put on a hat. Make this a little bit more interesting. What happens when we add in Chanel? Let's get rid of the hat, put on some earrings. What if we have the hat and the brooch? All of these looks work. Which works better? I feel like at the end of the day, less is more. I would never wear all of these things together. I think I can get away with two of them. Maybe the hat and the brooch. Maybe just the, ear the earrings, definitely them just by themselves. But definitely when you're wearing accessories with your outfit, you want to keep the rule of thumb, less is more in mind. Tip number five. Okay, now, this comes to length of your clothing. We're, I'm going to talk about my skirt and dress length in general, ladies. So obviously when you're going for a more elegant look, you want to kind of keep that rule of thumb we all learned in grade school. Like you want your skirt to be about to the tips of the fingers. Now, this is obviously, I'm talking about when we're dressing elegant and classy. If that's not the look you're going for, wear a skirt whatever length you want it to be, who cares? But always keep the setting in mind of where you are. Now, I have on a super short skirt here, this Alexander McQueen skirt, just to show you an example. I feel like this skirt is a little a little short however i think i'm getting away with it here but anything shorter than this and we're just we're, we're, we're we've moved on to something that's not <laughs> not classy and that's okay if i'm going to depends on the setting that i'm wearing this to that's fine but i think that little safe rule of thumb is at the fingertip length depending on the setting you're going to when you when we're thinking about the length of our dresses and skirts so this also, what the look that I have on here is super simple, which brings me to tip number five with grooming hair and makeup. I feel like when you're going for a more elegant look, you want to keep a more natural, simple, minimal look so that people can take you in. You know, when you're going for, a, when you are going for a more elegant look, it's about the whole aesthetic, right? So I think... I've kept my makeup super simple, hair super simple, just so you can, you know, you as a whole can be taken in and not just your, what your makeup looks like and what your hair looks like. I think those things are just simple and grooming doesn't have to be too, grooming can just be more natural when you're going for an elegant, classy look. The next tip posture you should always think about having great posture if you're trying to pull off an elegant classy look you know it just when you stand you know with your back straight and you walk with your head up when you think about your posture when you're wearing certain outfits it just looks more elegant you look more put together you just read more sophisticated especially when you have on a nice blazer or you know a more refined look you want to keep your posture in mind have great posture with your outfit okay guys so my next tip is since we've talked about accessories i think i'd like to go right into my next tip which is your outfit should have one statement piece when you are trying to dress elegant and classy so what i have on here i have on a black Wolford bodysuit and a Louis Vuitton skirt 
and I feel like in this outfit my skirt is really the, the statement piece so I don't want to wear anything else that's going to detract from the skirt I'm going to show you a close-up of my boots here in a second so you can see the little detail on them they are also Louis Vuitton I think it's important to just like with accessories when we want to keep accessories to a minimum when you're wearing your statement piece you want to keep everything else around it just in support of it right you just want those other elements of your outfit to complement the statement piece the statement piece is the star of the show so we don't want to wear anything else that's going to be too eye-catching too distracting from the statement piece and obviously this has logo on it i'm usually not crazy about logo but this skirt was adorable so i felt like i just had to have it <laughs> so since it is a statement piece I don't want to wear anything else that has a lot of logo on it or is really in your face. So definitely make sure you only have one statement piece on when you are trying to dress very elegant and classy. Well, those are my tips. Thank you guys for taking the time to play dress up with me and watch my video. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram at The Chic Maven and check out my website, thechicmaven.com. Until next time, guys, have a good day.